In this video, I will tell you how I found out that the Earth is round and not at the same time. Moreover, how planets tend to get flatter, yet they never reach full flatness. We all know that there are people who think the Earth is flat, and they are a very loud community. But even if you are a flat earther, or maybe not, this video is going to be very interesting, because I think I found the middle ground. So yesterday, I was sitting with my friend at the lecture, and we got distracted. And it's then, when he came up with weirdest statement I have ever heard from him. Now I have to tell you that he's not a Harvard scholar or an astrophysicist, but still, I was very much shocked when he said, you know, Earth is not round. More than that, he said, none of the planets are round. What, 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 what? To say that I was shocked is to say nothing. I was on the verge of losing my best friend. But it all ended well after I did my research. Stick till the end to find out how. First of all, why Earth is round? I mean spherical. Does science have an explanation to that? Well, yes. After many hours of researching and going through my old physics textbooks, I found out the reason for that has to do with the fact that we live in three-dimensional world and that we have gravity. So let's start with gravity. Gravity is simply when there is a body of mass, it tends to pull objects around it onto itself. Meaning, you can use the line, babe, we have inner pull to each other, and if she rejects you, you can come out of the situation saying it's gravity. Now let's get back to the topic. Objects with mass have gravity, and with more mass comes more responsibility. Get it? I meant, with more mass comes more gravity. It also gets weaker with distance. This fact is going to be very useful for the strangest claim I will make soon. So when gravity pulls from all sides and the object doesn't have enough strength to sustain its shape, it wants to get as small as it can. And there's only one shape that makes it possible. Yes, that's right, round. And if you live in a three-dimensional world, it's spherical. And here's an interesting fact. Sphere is the only shape that contains the largest volume for a given amount of surface. And that's why planets are round. But hold on, because I have strangest claim I will make in 3, 2, 1. My friend was actually right, saying that the planets aren't round. Of course you knew that the Earth is close to being X-shaped because it has a dent on one side due to a meteor hit that wiped out dinosaurs, but that has nothing to do with what my friend said. It all has to do with the rotation of the planets. Now, before I explain that, just pause the video and rotate in one place. First, with your arms close to your body, and then with arms extended. Now, did you actually do that? Comment if you didn't. If you had done that, though, you probably felt more pull from your hands when they're extended. If you didn't do that, you have one more chance. You still didn't do it. Anyways, it's called centrifugal force, and it's the tendency of an object moving in a circle to travel away from the center of the circle. All right. So, Saturn, have you ever seen its image? Did you notice anything weird about it? I mean, besides the ring. You can pause here and comment below. So, Saturn is flat. I mean, it's 10.7% thicker in the sides, which makes it flatter, meaning it's closer from one pole to another than from one side to another side. And it's not only Saturn, Jupiter is 6.9%. Earth is 0.3 and Mars is 0.6% thicker in the middle. You know why? Well, at this point, don't forget to like and subscribe. No, really, like and subscribe. Awesome, thank you. So it's because planets are very big and they rotate. Do you remember when I asked you to rotate? So the same logic here, because the sides get pulled outwards, the structural integrity, together with its gravity, cannot hold its round shape. So yes, that's why planets are round and not at the same time. Human brain is a very powerful machine and at the same time, it's just a muscle. Just like other muscles, you need to keep exercising not to lose its capabilities. I found that brilliant is the best place to exercise your brain and learn new subjects in a fun way. Getting to know how various systems work with hands-on experience. It helps me challenge my critical thinking skills, keeping my brain exercised. The first 200 of you to use the link in the description will get a lifetime discount of 20% for premium subscription. Finally, I believe science is just a wonderland for curious people. And at schools, it is presented in its dullest form. Subscribe for more to keep your curiosity fed and thank you for watching.